Well, hello, and welcome to Easter Sunday service, 2024. We've got a nice cosy one in store for you this year. Uh, Shot right here in my home, Easter Massive Industries, Studio A, the world famous, no less. Let's get up. Come on, come on with me. Put the kettle on in a minute. Well, that's the stuff, isn't it? Okay, what do we have in store today? Like I say, it's a nice cosy one. So we're going to be having a jam with Rob Milne, the uh, Reeds player. I'm sure you know him. Um, There's going to be some new material there, some newer songs that you won't have heard before. So that's exciting. We'll be going to the spare room. Um, for a jam with my old guitar teacher, Kevin Dean. This is great. We're going to have a Strat jam, the student and the master. I'm looking forward to that. And then here at Easter's Sunday service, we like to chit, we like to chat. So I think we're going to put the two together and have a little bit of chit-chat. Might even talk about the previous year in review. How about that? But first, but first, join me in the living room, join me and Toby in the living room for a little bit of five string banjo. How about that? Right, come on downstairs. You right, Toby? How you doing, bud? You ready for some band, yeah? Oh God, what are we gonna do here then? Let me just get my buttons out of the way. Us uh, staunch folk musicians know, of course, that um, buttons Make noise and noise. Qua. No, sir. Right, uh, what are we doing then? Well, this song, this is going to be Country Girl. Uh, I think I wrote it when I was 16. And I've played it several times on Sunday service. Uh, I've done it loads of times with the Fool's Moon. But I've never played it on a banjo. So let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Do not. About how we would love 
to spend the night with his girl. About how he would give anything in the world. Somebody at the door. Display, that's very nice. Oh. <laughs> Where were we? Um. Well, the beautiful girl, she gave me a sign, she came close to me. Tucked her hand into mine So I took her home And she spent her night With me The guitar playing dude Has long since left to catch his train He's headed on home to see his baby again And how he's longed to spend the night With his girl How he'd give anything worked out the chord that I needed to play on that last go around and not a moment before so well okay um, right so this is a learning experience for you and me both I'm 
learning how to play the banjo and you're learning how lucky you are to not have to hear me do this for a good 364 days out of the year. Um, 365 is a leap that year. Uh, raise your hand if you like the Grateful Dead. Ooh, I do. Okay, everyone in this room, Josh and Joe, they're raising their hands as well. Here's, here's a beautiful song. I imagine it was a Jerry Garcia original. Um, Friend of the Devil. night till the morning came round Set out running but I take my time A friend of the devil is a friend of mine If I get home before daylight I just might get some sleep tonight Well I ran into the devil Baby loan me twenty bills Spend the night in Utah in a cave out in the hills. I set out running, but I take my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. If I get home before daylight, I just might get some sleep tonight. Sweet Anne Marie, 
She's my heart's delight Second one is prison, babe And the sheriff's on my trail If he catches up to me I'll spend my life in jail Close enough for me. Well, uh, what do you reckon about that, Toby? Load of bollocks? Fuck off. Turtle soup. Well, now I've lowered the tone, um, why don't we <laughs> raise, raise our spirits with um, a great, great Fool's Men song. This is off our first album. We all know and love it. This one is going to be only human because we are only human after all. Right, let's do it then. Let's do it. And I can't drift over to sleep So I'll walk myself all the way down to the sea And then I'll take a little look at all of the tiny little flashing lights And they're all looking back at me It's only natural 
in the end I'd rather let time be my friend I want to live where all of the trees are green I want to live in a world at peace somewhat um, I told you before how we're gonna have a special strat jam with my uh, my, my mentor Kevin Dean <sighs> I, uh, I can't wait for this and I can't wait to show you my spare room special spare room under the stairs see you there in a moment Kevin. Sam. Hello. How are you doing today? Very well. Yourself? Uh, brilliant. Thank you. Excellent. And thank you so much for joining me in the uh, cupboard under the, under the stairs. Here we are. Thanks for inviting me. Nice. Right, pleasure. So let's tell the good people what we're doing today. Uh, this is Kevin Dean. He's a brilliant guitar teacher. Taught me for about 10 years. Yeah. 10 years I spent with yeah. Kevin. And today we're going to play a handful of the pieces and songs that Kevin taught me and really formed the basis of, of my playing today. So this is an exciting one. Excellent, I'm excited. Me too. Let's do it. Let's roll. One, two, three, four.
Yes. This one's called Table 42. Personal favourite of mine. This one I wrote when I was about 23 years old, about Sam's age now. You're a bit older now, aren't you? I'm a bit older. A little bit yeah. older. You can tell them I'm 23. And it's uh, one piece with three parts, and it's uh, only recorded it once and released it once. I think it was on Kevin Dean Volume 3, and there was no guitar on it. It was more orchestral. It lends itself to an orchestral type situation. We're going to play it on guitar. It's called Desolate Part 2. D4.
So, you've got a new single coming out, Kev. I have, yeah. It's uh, funny, funny enough, normally my sort of spiritual type releases are under the energy of love formation. And, yes. and uh, I very rarely release stuff under Kevin Dean. But as this one's ended up being quite an a, a electric guitar type featured one, a bit like Genius of Dharma, I released that under Kevin Dean, not Energy mm. of Love. So this one's going to be put out uh, as Kevin Dean. And it's based, funny enough, on an old lesson piece that I still teach called If Only, which of course you learn and play brilliantly. But it's for, the, for this uh, release, it's called The Secrets of Avalon. And it's got a hook melody over it. And it's more of a sort of a an upbeat dance track, but we're going to play it, sort of duet, duet electrics, and let's see if it works like that, shall we? Nice. Yeah? Find Kevin Dean on uh, all your streaming services. <laughs> yes. Right, this is okay. a tricky one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three, three, four. <laughs> Enjoy that, Kevin? I really enjoyed that. I think it's the first time we've both stood up and played those pieces. Ever? Unrehearsed as well. And it's the first time we've played together in about five years? Six Must years, or it's got to be got to be seven, 18? It's good to see you again. 2018, it's good yeah. to see you again. Great to see you, yeah. Uh, so what have you been up to? Well, all the usual stuff. I've been sort of dragged into producing in a way. I never set out to, apart from producing my own music, I never really produced anybody else's, but I produced one about ten years ago, and people have heard it, and... And people have approached me and said, can we bring our songs to you and work, you know, develop our songs and put things around? One of the acts, funny, I've got a T-shirt on, look. Percy's, Percy's Pearls. Pearls. This I've is, heard a lot of Percy's Pearls. This is the Rag and, Bo Rag and Bone Man. His dad truly. is one of Percy's Pearls and Steve, who is Percy. And they do great songs. So they come every Friday and you know, produce their music and add things around it. They've got about the 11th single now and an album coming out as well. So there's that. Right. Occasional show I do, I do... Um, the variety shows played here. Oh, still enough. doing them. This wonderful, wonderful venue I played about a month you ago. You were, weren't you? Tell them about that. Well, this is... it was a water rat show, a Grand Order of Water Rats, which I'm a member of. Hence the little gold emblem here. And it, what a bill it was! It was Rick Wakeman, uh, myself, uh, Joe Pasquale, Steve Hewlett, Mike Martin. Endless bill of variety, and it was a sold-out theatre. And we uh, raised uh, lots of money, three thousand pounds for the charity. And that was That's a good, good classic variety show. So I'm doing those, picking, choosing those, producing, still teaching, of course. Brilliant. And it's been very nostalgic seeing you again. I think to think that we, we come here today and, as you said, not played together for all these years and then just, just did those pieces. Obviously, I play them a lot with other pupils, but we hadn't done it together. No. So I think it was, a, I, I felt a, a magical afternoon doing this. That was magical, to be in this lovely space under yeah. the stairs as yeah. well. Well, 
It's great to see you, Kevin. Great to see you, Sam. What do you say? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's, let's do one more. Let's do detuning piece. Detuning piece. Yes. Fantastic. We're both strap men, and you're a strap man, I'm a strap man, and we'll do what we can to change the world. To change the world. To help to change the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining Cheers. us, Kevin. Thank you for inviting me. Cheers. Well, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to Easter's Sunday Service 2024. Oh, well, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Me and Kevin back at it again. Um, so, here we are in the world-famous control room. Uh, perfectly optimised. Um, uh, this is where the magic really happens, I suppose. Here I am. Here I am. Let's say we've got... Um, Tom Jones has just called me up, like he sometimes does, and says, Samuel, Samuel, I've got a new single. I need you to, re to, to mix and master for me. And I say, Tom, you've got it, brother. Um, and there we are. So I'm sat here pushing the faders, 
Tom Jones comes in. Here's the sound. He's crying. He embraces me. I say nothing. I just hold him back. And uh, so in this very room, we've recorded so much music, haven't we, Joe? We've done so many of the John Motun guitar parts. Uh, all the guitar parts I was promised I'd never have to play live. We have <laughs> did them just sat here. Sat here. Straight, clean, into the old preamp there. And then we take them away. Take them to a Robbie studio. Stick them through one of these lovely amps down here. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Knock on the door. We've got some heavy ass guitar tones, haven't we? Um, so Joe Burns has often sat just just through that little chamber to record some little percussive elements, some ceramic djembe on amble let's say, or maybe a little um, bit or bob elsewhere. I had Callum McKemmy up here recording for the Fulsvar Blues Band. Uh, we were sat exactly here, actually. Callum was there. I was sat here. There we were, just around one microphone. That's fun, isn't it? Um, and that's the way we did both Drum 50G and uh, an exciting new prospect as well. So this is, there's a lot that's gone on in this room, and I'm uh, pleased to be able to show you around. Uh, let me just show you my desk quickly. This is the beast on which the magic is uh, transcribed. So this this is the old magic console, isn't it? That's responsible for the hell of a thumping drum sound on a the old Jomo Tun. One and two were both recorded to this desk. No, the second one wasn't, was it? Ah, bugger. Um, any Garanfo recordings I've done? So all of the 10-year anniversary, the 10 live specials, all recorded straight to this desk. A couple of things have been mixed through it, but we don't do an awful lot of that here at um, Easter's Massive Industries. Uh, just because it's a faff, isn't it? We do it in the computer. We love it. Um, yeah, so me and Robbie Baker, we, we drove over to Liverpool to pick up this old desk. This this desk was made just a couple of years before I was born. And my lord, my lord, so we drove up Liverpool, had a nice day out. We um we saw saw the Mersey. We uh we had a pint. We uh we passed the kebab shop called Chicken Bazooka. That was fun. And we picked up this old beast, brought it back in his little hatchback. And uh, what a day we had together. What a day we had. Oh, it's, um, that's DDA. They are no more. Um, so that's old Dave Dearden, who did the Audient consoles. This this is what came before that. A little bit of uh, something good happening there. I love this desk. Oh. Tell you what, let's just show off some of these stupid things. The old 12 string, there we are. So this, that's going to be all over my uh, solo album. Don't hold your breath on that one, that won't be out for a while, but it's going to be all over that. Got an old bag llama. A uh, Saz, sorry, we've got a Saz. A little Turkish Saz. That's a bit fun, isn't it? 30 pounds in a charity shop. Um... And that has made it all over the new Fulsvar Blues Band release. And it's snuck its way on to John Tun's upcoming second album, Critical Density of Mankind. That's not bad, is it? Um, that, and it's just fun to have a couple of folky instruments, isn't it? We've got an old mandolin. 
with uh, not enough strings on it that I bought off uh, Roy. That's fun. Got an old tenor banjo. Not very good at that, but uh, it's, it's fun to play every now and then. That's um, what I played all the way through. Drum 50G by the Fools Far Blues Band. I uh, loved that. Loved the sound of that thing. Bought it from Robbie Baker. That's uh, that's fun. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's make a cup of tea. I'll tell you about the year we've had. Do you want one, Joe? Yes, please. Yeah, fuck yeah. Samuel Easter, live on Easter Sunday service. Oh, that's way not enough water. So you just do another little top up with the kettle. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, how's how's Cruise to the Edge going? Oh, it's good. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear it, mate. What, me? Oh, yeah, no, uh, we're just um, just filming Easter Sunday service 2024. Yeah, that's going good, cheers. Yeah, we just got one more set to do. We're about to do the uh, year in review. Yeah, I know you want to... I, I, you can't be on every year, Steve. But I'm sorry you feel that way. We're still good to go to Croatia together, though. All right. See you there. All right. Hope the new album goes well, bud. All right. Yep, see you there. Love you. Bye. Bye, Steve. Uh, that was just my friend, Steve Hackett from Genesis. Um... He was all right. He was a bit upset I didn't invite him on to the show this year. <laughs> Tea's ready. Same Wish way. I had some biscuits. God. Here we are, we've got our tea, um, and thank you for joining me on this beautiful sunny day uh, in Norwich. Um, I'm sat here in the uh, military industrial complex, um, situated just outside Easter Massive uh, Studios, Easter Massive Industries Studio, hey. Um, so, <laughs> so I wanted to tell you about about the year we've had. It's been been a big one, actually. Um, so, well, first on the agenda, um, coming out very soon, will be a special live film um, of the Smoking Sammy Dunlop Boys. This is a little blues band that that the Fools Boys have been doing for a few years so much fun. I uh, started off my uh, musical career playing in a in a in a blues trio, Cat Amongst the Pigeons. Um some of our stuff is still out there on YouTube if you want to give it a look. That's a bit of fun to watch me as a 17-year-old guitarist. That's so much fun. So this is our little tribute to that really. Um so 
we recorded it live at the Reindeer, Norwich. Um, and <laughs> what a treat. I had just been given a new guitar by by a good friend and a fan of fan of the band, uh, Melvin. So I uh, I was I was on a bit of a bit of a high one enjoying the new guitar and boy is it a little wacky. Um I look forward to showing that one to you. That'll be out on my YouTube soon enough. Um You can um like sit back and relax. Okay. Uh, like, you can actually have your tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like look off that way, you don't have to be looking at the camera all the time. <coughs> that was nice, what's next? It's been a big year for John O'Tan as well. We've been out on the road quite a lot. We joined Godsticks for two dates in, uh, I want to say, March. Nowhere near. <laughs> but they took us, they took us up to Edinburgh to play at uh, the Legends Bar, and um, and to Newcastle to play at the Clooney Two. And my God, were they amazing and accommodating hosts. Uh, it was so much fun getting to meet them and play our crazy tunes live. Um, we've got films of those that will be coming out within the next few months, I'm sure. Um, and that's not all for Jomo Tun. We also did another fun run of festivals. We went to Derby to play at the Hairy Dog. Um, where we met some great bands, um, a tota so. We got to know them quite well. Um, brilliant band, enjoyed their sets so much. And uh, the day was just jam-packed with cool instrumental bands. And then we went to a, a prog festival in Leicester at The Musician. Um, that was that was another great one. Uh, we we uh, played alongside our good friend Zop who uh, just blew us away brilliant brilliant performances and uh, as well those those gigs are both recorded and they'll be coming out within the next amount of time John Motun that's not all we've been scrolling away we've been working hard recording our second studio album Critical Density of Mankind this has been about a year in the making, I want to say. Um, and we're just on to the final stages of that now. Um, I'm due to start mixing next week. And we hope that that's going to be out and in your hands by the end of the year. I'm sure it will. So, in Fool's Moon World, we've got a few live films coming out as well. Um, we recorded a full two and a half, maybe, hour concert at the Stanford Arms in Lowestoft, one of our home gigs. We, uh, we play there several times a year and, and love it every time. So we've got a film and recording of that coming out soon, as well as another favorite venue of ours uh we supported a great band free company doing a a tribute to the music of free and bad company um at the bannon barrel we supported them and played our standard fare of good bluesy rock and prog music you know what i mean um so i can't wait to share those both with you um now and we are putting out the final touches onto our second studio album mam tour this is going to be a concept album about the people the mythical people that we made up surrounding the uh the hill mam tour in uh, the peak district beautiful really looking forward to sharing that with you that's some good tea Right, what we got? Fool's Moon. Well, we also did a, um, a landmark live performance. This is the first time we've done this live of Grand Fools. 
Um, we did that at the, the Grit in Lowestoft, which is sadly no more. It's closed its doors. However, beautifully shot and, um, and recorded at the Grit. Uh, started off with a set from Garanfo. That's live on YouTube. Then Fools played a set of our own. And then, you know how it works, the two bands join together in a mammoth jam where we play songs from each of our repertoires all together. And that's, that's out on YouTube now. You can, you can go and watch that. Let's talk about the Fulsvar Blues Band. We uh, did our first ever live performances on the Saturday and Sunday at Eden Festival on the bandstand stages. That was so much fun. We went went up to Dumfries in um, in Scotland on a beautiful hot weekend. Um, got eaten alive by midges and we played some wacky, wacky blues. Um, We had a nice time there. You might get to see some of that. We we got got some recordings of that. We don't know if they're going out. We'll see. We'll see. Um, more in terms of Fools of Our Blues Band. We've got our third album recorded right here at Easter Massive Industries Studio A, the world famous Easter Massive Industries Studio A. Um, right upstairs in the control room. This album is possibly our most challenging. Yet, and we uh, we play a range of classics. It's going to be called Buckfast Spiderco, Buckfast Zydeco, and it's a listen. I'll tell you that that should be out on uh, all streaming services by the end of the month. By the end of the month, <coughs> check that out now. So, Samuel Easter has had a bit of a year as well. I've done my first ever live solo gigs. So I um, opened up the bill for um, at Karma Cafe, Norwich, for um, Ideal Surreal and off with their records. Um, played a handful of my songs solo. That was, that was nerve-wracking, but I loved it. And then, not to mention, I joined uh, the brilliant Garanfo and Jui at the Servant Jazz Quarters in London, playing another um, live solo set. That was such good fun, and as a treat, we've got that one filmed. That'll be out on my YouTube very, very soon. Um, we want to thank Henry, what's Henry's surname? Bongos. We want to thank Henry Watts for having us on his Ushti Kushti Lounge stage at Maui Wowie for a uh, <laughs> for a hectic Samuel Easter band performance, the first ever. We we had two drummers, we had bass, we had two guitars, two vocals. That was so much fun to do. <laughs> We've got got a film of that out on Joe Burns' YouTube channel right now. Um, buckle in for that one. It's, it's a bit of a journey. <laughs> but we, we were so thrilled by, by the reception from the crowd at Maui Wowie. Everyone was so, so up for it. So keen. And what, what an atmosphere. What an atmosphere. It was amazing. I, uh, I, hope to play there again with with the fools and with the Samuel Easter band I love it um, and for the Samuel Easter band I will begin recording the first album of songs first full studio album of songs um, later on this year so uh, it's early days I've got no idea what the album's going to be called um, I can't tell you 
who may or may not be on the album, but I'm excited. I'm excited to share it with you. And we've got a bunch of songs that you haven't heard before. Um, I, I can't wait to hear it come together. Right. Um, it's getting a bit cold out here. What we'll say we uh, we warm up with some new songs featuring Rob Milne. I can't wait. Let's go. See you in the front room. I were a merchant I'd sell seashells I'd find them on beaches And I'd paint them up well If I were a merchant Well, I'd want nothing more Than to sell the seashells That I found on the shore Build ourselves alive 
But we were young and our hearts were changing We hardly saw each other anymore In a couple years we'd had enough Of falling in and out of love And parted ways with bittersweet goodbye Later on when I'd moved on I found a girl and I brought her home We'd stay up late and talk all night And I dressed her up in white Since then I didn't often think of you Till the day you came back to my life Waiting with your suitcase at the station It was raining so I offered you a ride And when I asked you how you'd been You broke down crying in your seat Broke my heart to realize then I was bound to fall in love again I just want to see you, Jessica One last goodbye I'm begging, please don't tell her It'll only break her heart Fantastic, man. Beautiful. Wonderful Thanks. stuff, Rob. Wonderful stuff, Rob. Well, hey there. Thanks for sticking with us here at uh, Easter Massive Industries Studio A. Um, I'm joined by the fabulous Rob Milne on clarinet. Rob Milne plays with one of my favourite Norwich bands, uh, Nebulous Sun, who uh, at the time of recording just played a brilliant show at the uh, the Art Centre. Yeah. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Um, well, I'm thrilled to have you here, Rob. This is this is a real treat. The first time we played together, isn't it? I believe so. We've done some Fool's Moon. We did the New Year's. We did. We joined... Um, yeah, the Girl and Fool's New Moon. We New played Year's. together before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. I also think we did um, the Grandfather Karma ones. I think we played together. Did you plan that as well? Yeah. We might have been on different songs, though. That's weird, yeah. <laughs> well, it's true. All I remember about that was the absolutely horrible sound. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> well, this, this is another new song. This, is, um, this one is called Magic Mirror. Yeah. 
Throughout my youth I have been worried Of what the future means to bring So then my thoughts have been distracted From the moment I'm in And all these moments could be treasures But I have let them pass me by So magic mirror, won't you show me Coming right at you with a Fool's Moon classic. Uh, you know this one, this is called River Daughter. side 
now in my heart I'll always be in the forest there that night when it's that sort of like getting super into Jethro Tull and this folky like chords changing with the with the lyrics yeah and um, if we had a drummer here it'd be sort of keeping me in check somewhat but I'm getting a little loosey goosey with it all no, I don't think that. but no um, it's great yeah so well thank you for watching this year um Thank you so much, Rob, My pleasure. for playing with us. Um, this has been a real treat, and we hope to see you next year. This is a child of that age.
since I've been alone Feel so wrong to love somebody else I wish, baby, you'd come back home I stay up all night And I'm crying All because I miss you I didn't know how much you mean to me now I was a child, babe I was a child Child, baby, I was a child A child, I was a child the camera you begging for any so you say hello to Toby come on buddy let's go oh yeah let's get that off your foot my man hey guys Toby the daughters checking in for Easter's Sunday service 2024 right here at the world famous Easter Massive Industries Studio A A what's up what's up that's a good shit right there <laughs> 